I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on complex numbers. We have been learning how to write a variable complex number which is z equals to x plus i y in terms of z equals to r cos of theta plus i sin theta. Now that is the modulus argument form or also known as the polar form. Based on this, here we have a multiple choice question. Find the argument and the modulus of z equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestions. So basically, r is the modulus and theta is the argument, right? So we should be converting this into the polar form before we could answer. We have a term which is cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta. Well, cos 2 theta can be written as uh, 2 cos square theta minus 1 or it could also be written as 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Correct? As far as sine 2 theta is there, sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. So some of these formulas may be required to answer this particular question. Now I think uh, you have all the material. You may actually pause the video and answer it. Here is my solution. Now we are given that z is equal to one plus cos two theta plus i sine two theta correct so here one plus cos two theta will be treated as x right this is i y so that is the y portion the imaginary part so when you want to find the argument in that case you need to some way write it in this form only then you could do it right so what i would like you to do is to rewrite this using the trigonometric identity so let's do it so one plus cos two theta from this particular formula if you rearrange what can you get? Bringing 1 to this place, you get 1 plus cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta. Correct? So, we are going to make this substitution here for the term which is the real part. right? So, we will rearrange after this. So, we get this as 2 cos square theta plus i. Now, sine 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta as mentioned here right now from here we can take 2 cos theta common so we'll get 2 cos theta common once you do that you are left with cos theta plus i sine theta Is that clear? Now, if you compare, what do you get? You get your answer, right? So, if you compare this, that is the modulus r and theta is your argument. Is it clear? So, now clearly comparing with z equals to r cos theta plus i sin theta we can write that the modulus r is equals to 2 cos theta and argument is theta right so that is how you're going to answer and amongst the choices given to you r is 2 cos theta 
and argument of theta is option C to you. Is that clear to you? So that is how you are going to answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now there are different ways of doing it. We could have found the modulus and this argument in some other way also. However, this is the most efficient way of doing it. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.